Welcome to the Ralph Mark Gilbert Civil Rights Museum. When people walk in that front door, the first thing they want to know is, who is Ralph Mark Gilbert and how does he get a whole museum name for himself? In a word, he was a pulpiteer, a minister of the gospel, who came to Savannah in 1939, uh, promoting his passion plays, and eventually would become the pastor of the first African Baptist church. And Dr. Gilbert, by 1942, would light a fire under the local chapter of the NAACP. Our tour here at the Ralph Mark Gilbert begins with this timeline. 1865, the day that slavery ended here in the city of Savannah, the fight for civil rights began and continues today through the local chapter of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, the NAACP. The NAACP on the timeline here was founded in 1917. Important date along our timeline, of course, is when Dr. Gilbert will come to town. This is a picture of Dr. Gilbert uh, with this Boy Scout troop and the young man who is second in right here is none other than Wesley Wallace Law. Wesley Wallace Law would be, by 1950, he would become the head of the local chapter of the NAACP. After running the NAACP for 26 years, he founded one, two, three Black History Museum. And this is what I consider to be his crown jewel. The Ralph Mark Gilbert opened 25 years ago. What you're looking at here is our timeline as it continues from below, where you have the wall of segregation, public, private, and job and housing discrimination. You also have here in this room the wall of injustice. There's a judge's bench up top. You had Savannah's first black police officers. The original nine is what they're called. Legalized injustice, lynching here in the state of Georgia, the origin of the term Jim Crow. Now, Dr. Gilbert had another hand in politics. The white primary was eliminated in Georgia under his, um, under his guidance. A lawsuit that was brought by the NAACP. The voting was already open. However, you couldn't vote in the primary. What was the election gonna be? So that was a big change. You also have here, you wanna vote. Early on, they would ask you how many marbles in a jar? How many bubbles on a bar of soap? We remember that here at the Ralph Mark Gilbert, the colored voter registration. The first uh, sit-in here in the city of Savannah was 1960, March 16, at the Levy's department store, where three young people would go and sit in the restaurant, even though they weren't allowed to be there. It was very organized. They were very um, polite. However, they were not waited on. That was a game changer, because after that, there was a 15-month boycott of downtown Savannah. If you couldn't eat there, don't buy there. They, they carried signs that said, don't buy where you can't eat. The lunch counter, it has a um, I am white and I am colored button. And when you, when you press the I am colored, the young man is saying, Ex excuse me, uh, I would like to order. And then the waitress responds to him. And then the other button, I am white, and the waitress has a whole different attitude toward what that patron is saying. Will that be all, Mary? When you go and leave his department store and you were called by your first name, even though you're spending money in this store, you didn't see any other black people working there. This is Savannah's civil rights movement. You look around um, and you see the local community um, up on these walls. If you want to see and learn more about the Ralph Mark Gilbert Civil Rights Museum, please go online. We have a website. We have lessons for the young people. And we will be coming back strong. At the moment, the Ralph Mark Gilbert is working on an exhibit expansion plan. When we reopen our doors, it will be for you here in the Savannah community to come and help us celebrate our 25th year.